uh, basically forced to step down uh, prior to him being killed. And he was known to have, like you said, been a Boy Scout. So did he see something? Did he uncover something that was going on in this investigation? Is that what got him killed? Is this entire, you know, three-man pursuit a complete and total hoax? Is it false? So that's what we're trying to find out. And I thought it was interesting. You brought up a connection kind of with this story with uh, Terrence, Terrence Yakey, Yakey yeah. from uh, the Oklahoma City bombing. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people don't know about Terrence Yakey because he's kind of, you know, that was pre-internet, uh, the Oklahoma City bombing. But uh, we we uh, have a film here at InfoWarsStore.com called The Noble Lie, which covers uh, a lot of things about the Oklahoma City bombing, which are fishy, one of which is the death of Terrence Yakey, who was a man who was on the scene rescuing people. He was police officer of the year. He saw some things that he didn't like, and he had some evidence in a storage building, and he was got real paranoid. Uh, I have interviewed one of his fellow officers, Don Browning, who was saying, yeah, he was he knew something was up. He had information. He wasn't ready to go public with it yet. And then they find him in a field dead of several knife wounds, some slashes, a couple shots. And they what they say is he crawled. It had to be hundreds of yards from his police car cruiser, which in there, they said it looked like there had been a pig had been gutted and dragged himself all the way over to a tree and then decided to kill himself there. Uh, he said he was being followed by two men. Of course, that we never hear anything about that, but they listed it as a suicide, which I find highly improbable. Everybody that knows him said it's highly improbable that he did this, yet we're left with suicide. So when I started hearing about this with the police officer and there were two gunshots, I started, my spidey sense started tingling. So you're going to do a, a full report on this, right? Yeah, it's interesting. Like you said, his last words are as soon as I shake these feds, I'll be back and we'll go out to dinner. I'm assuming he said that to a wife or something like that. But it's the same thing with Michael Hastings. Mm -hmm. Feds are after me. I'll be back. I'm going off the radar for a little while. Right. And now he's And then his gone. car blows up. So this is what happens. It doesn't mean it's a conspiracy. It doesn't mean that there's a hoax, but... We're, we're, we're rolling out, buddy. We're, uh, to do that. Put all that in your report. This has been the Overdrive Hour. I'm your host, Rob Dew. We'll see you next week. Join us tonight for the Nightly News, 7 p.m. Central.